Okay guys, there's been some controversy about the grenade launcher, bayonet, mount, sling, swivel. I'm hopefully going to clear some of them up. This is an AR-15 barrel. What's left of it? Let's see. That's the rear end. That's what bolts onto the receiver. Your M203 grenade launcher will mount in here and it actually clamps onto the barrel. It clamps on and around the barrel. Then you put your handguard over it. That's how you mount a 203 grenade launcher. Now this one doesn't have the front sight post, but it would be right here. And it has a bayonet lug that sticks off the bottom. It's just a little stub of metal. That's all it is. I've got two weapons with bayonets here I'm going to show you. But this is what mounts this is what you mount a 203 grenade launcher to right here. This really fat chunk of the barrel of the weapon. You don't mount it to a handguard. You don't mount it to anything else. And then this piece, if we're on there, is what holds it all in place. It holds the handguard and the 203 right along there. So this is where the handguard goes. The 203 would go here, and the bayonet would go up here. Up here. So it's AR barrel. Now. <clears throat> this is my PSL and it has a bayonet lug. If I can get the damn thing off. And see, that's the bayonet lug right there. It's just a little metal tab. It's not the sling swivel. And it's not where the grenade launcher would not do. On this thing the grenade launcher would clip onto right here. So it's, it's very different. Grenade launchers don't actually mount <laughs> to a handguard or a sling swivel. They actually mount to the barrel. That's all you need. If you have a barrel and you legally have a 203, you can mount it. Good luck getting the 203 though. Unless you have anything, unless you're dealing with nothing but flares, then it's going to be very hard to get anything for it. And this is just a standard bayonet. It's kind of useless to put a bayonet on a sniper rifle. Um, and that's all it is. See, it just slides on there. Whoops. There we go. Right there. Bam. It's kind of pointless. Um, it doesn't do anything to the rifle. Because odds are, if someone's that close for you to actually use it, they're well within shooting range. You're not going to do any more damage with a rifle. It's not going to do anything. And that's one example. My other example is my Mosin Nagant. And it has the same thing. That's the bayonet. And it, let's see here. Shit, I forgot how hard this thing was to take on. Okay, good. That's it right there. That's all it is. It's nothing special. It just slides on and then you rotate it. That's it. You just twist it all the way and it locks. That's it. There's nothing special about it. Um that's the sheath that it comes in. It's just a knife. That's all it is. There's nothing deadly or dangerous about it. It's just a knife. It's a regular little knife. I've had bigger knives. I've had smaller knives. In the end, it's just a knife. And this is a demonstration of where the grenade launcher would go. You would take this hand guard off right here. You take it off. And then around the barrel, you would clamp the 203. And you'd slide it down and it would fit just right. And you'd snap it shut and it'd be secured. On the M4. M16, AR15, AR10, the handguard would go over it and secure it. But once again, good luck getting ammo for it, unless you're using just smoke or flares. And even then, it's still expensive. So, odds are the average criminal is not going to use them. They're too expensive, not very effective unless you're going for the whole mass murder thing. 
And even then, you still got to do the background checks for the firearm itself, which the 203 counts as a completely separate firearm. So, even though and then it counts as a separate firearm, even though and then it's just an attachment to a weapon, it's a whole different firearm. And take it from me, they're easy to use, but they have their own associated problems. The ammo is heavy, they're not that easy to reload. You know, even training professional, it still took a while because the shells get stuck in the tube and you have to play with them and pull them out. Not that easy. So, like I said, take this off, clamp it on. That's how a grenade launcher works for two or three. Very rarely are they mounted on a Picatinny rail because they will rip the Picatinny rails off. And that's the same reason they don't use Mark 19s on an Abrams, just because they pull the whole skate ring off the tank. Not good. Same thing here. You can't just clamp it on here and go unless you're using flares. Because flares don't have any recoil. A real 203 grenade launcher will tear the Picatinny railing off. Bad, drastic failure. will end up injuring the person more than anything else. And it's not that the recoil is that bad. It's that the Picatinny rail is not made to absorb that kind of force. It's made to hold a flashlight and a pistol grip. So, you know, It's not made to absorb a lot of force. Or any force, really. Um, now they probably do make one that could. But 203s still don't mount to a Picatinny rail. They don't mount to a sling swivel. It's a whole separate weapon. So hopefully you've at least learned a little bit after this.